Welcome to the Rubicon Show, a fascinating breaking story. The FBI is actually going after two people, two kids, 20-year-olds, who pulled an NFT rug scam. Now, this is fantastic news in my opinion. I'm going to share something with you. So the NFT world and the crypto world is sort of like the Wild West at the moment, and there's so many scams going on. We document a lot of them here on our channel, but this is really good news. Two men arrested for $1.1 million dollar NFT rug pull scam. There's probably a couple of thousand of rug pull scams going on every day, and it makes people super skeptical, deservingly so, of NFTs. It makes the mainstream absolutely hate them. I hear, I don't personally use Reddit, but I hear that Reddit is absolutely against NFTs, and a lot of people are overlooking them because of these silly rug pull scams where people just try and make a bunch of cash really quick by creating a project like this one, the Frosties Project. Now, uh, this has a little bit about the Frosties roadmap and what they were going to do. Basically, it looks like your normal uh, NFT launch. However, and these two people, if we go up to here, uh, US government prosecutors have charged two men with fraud and money laundering over a cryptocurrency rug pool scheme. Ethan Nguyen and Andre Lacuna allegedly earned about $1.1 million. Um, and they shut it down basically just after the project had launched and everybody in their discord was really, really upset. The fascinating thing is this bit right here. So this says, Hey Gary, I know this is shocking, but this project is coming to an end. I never intended to keep the project going. and I don't have a plan for anything in the future. This is why the project is coming to an end. So this is one of the founders, Andre or Ethan actually, uh, messaging their discord manager, the guy who's in charge of managing their discord. He says he doesn't have a plan for anything in the future and it was never intended to, gonna, to, be, ki to be kept alive. So it was 100% intended for a rug pull from day one, which is pretty crazy. It's weird to think that such an incredible technology, such an incredible uh, future potential to this. Why not have a plan to keep it going? Why are you running a scam? It seems so short-sighted, which is a fascinating thing to see. Um, he says, I know you've been going through a hard time, so I wanted to do something to help you out. I know this won't gain, regain your trust, but I sent you some Ethereum for your trouble. So he sent him some of that hot money from the uh, from the $1.1 million rug pull scam. I don't know if Gary really wants that. That might, although it's not publicly seizable, it's not uh, ex, it's not really what you want to hold on to are these other people's money. Um, and funny enough too, uh, the Frosties or the Embers, I think it was a sort of like a joint launch roadmap included a $50,000 charity donation over here. And they did actually go ahead and um, donate that to the Red Cross. Interesting. I don't know why. Why would you run away with other people's money, but give the Red Cross their money? Uh, I guess that's where their moral line is. But all in all, this is fantastic for the industry because people are going to be more accountable. And when people are more accountable, they're going to be better people to their peers and to people they're selling to and to people they're creating with. So this is a massive step forward. We're also launching a Discord channel. What we're doing in that Discord is we're educating you on all the possible scams and uh, potential like security threats that are going to be able to either get access to your wallet, whether it's the bookmarking one or sending you these uh, phishing emails or getting you to put their seed phrase in. If you're worried about scams and but you want to explore this world, I can absolutely empathize with you. Once we launch our Discord, which will be this week, you can go in there and there'll be a whole channel playlist of videos to educate yourself against this fraud, against uh, people rug pulling or anything uh, that you're scared to lose your money on. Because once you remove that fear, you can get educated and you can start exploring the world of potential in Web3.